Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, Carlos. Hey, how's it going? Thank good, you for this. Good. How are you, man? I'm pretty good. Sure, man. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you pronounce your name? I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> you can't just call me Shaw. Yeah, that's what I assume. Yeah, yeah. Shaw is fine. Yes. So when's your, um, when's your fight? Where and where can we see it? Oh, damn. My fight, I mean, is in website. Write it down is Lines Wyoming. Down. The chain Wyoming. So that's what and, the Lions uh, fight, correct? Yeah, Lion fights. And in website. But they say in Kansas, I'm very confused about that. And I'm like, I'm not sure exactly where is it. You know, I'm, I'm be honest with you. And I'm like, I just contacted my manager to find it out. I mean, I'm waiting. He uh, he texts me back. Make sure you because, don't take. A, make sure you don't drive the drive the wrong place or fly the wrong place. That would really suck. Yeah, right. Yeah, there. I know. I'm. Yeah, I'm waiting to there. Like, send my tickets and all this stuff. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, it's a little bit conf It's making me confused. I mean, because I don't know what's going on. The one time they say is in uh, Kansas. One time they say is in uh, Chain, Wyoming. I don't know. We'll find out. So it's going to be on UFC Fight Pass, correct? Yes. Uh, April 9th, UFC Fight Pass. Muay Thai, pro Muay Thai rules. Nice. So uh, what do you know about your opponent? If um, I mean, I saw like some footage, you know, my coaches, you know, they analyze him, you know, mostly like, uh, this is a good guy, you know, he's, this is sharp, he's good. No, but uh, he never fight with someone like me. Can't tell you that. How, yeah. how do you plan? Oh, sorry. How do you plan on defeating him? I mean, we'll see. Like <laughs> whatever is coming, you know. <laughs> what's your record now? You're three now with uh, kickboxing or more Thai rules? Or what's your? I record? mean, uh, two, two and all. Oh. Okay. Two and oh, Yeah. Both uh, more Thai fights. Uh, yeah, kickboxing. Both win by knockout. And you have a few MMA fights, correct? Amateur? Yeah, I'm 5 0 oh in MMA. Oh, nice. Where'd you uh, fight at? The amateur. Okay. I did in, yeah, I did in Turkey. Three, three fights I done in Turkey, MMA. Three, I mean, all was in Turkey. Two was in Russia. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Three was in Turkey. Two was in Russia. Uh, MMA, amateur MMA fights. Yeah, I'm uh, 5 0 oh, uh, in MMA. Um, in my kickboxing and Muay Thai uh, amateur record is 37 uh, win, seven losses. Oh, wow. Do you have any uh, boxing fights as well? Because you look pretty good when you were just no, boxing. I, no. Yeah, no, I don't have any boxing uh, fights. Tell us about yourself growing up. You're from Iran, correct? Yeah, yes, I'm from Iran. You know, like, um, as a, you know, like as a kid, I started this sport like when I was uh, nine years old. I joined the gym with a, like very low condition. Like, I mean, the, the venue when we were training is like very basic and like there's nothing inside. Very like hardcore, like Dutch style, like nice. Japanese, should I say, like a style of training, you know, very, you know, like very was, this was, was fun actually. But yeah, but nobody care about it, you know, like about the like um, MMA fighters or like yeah, whoever like doing combat the sports. Right now is a little bit better, but not really. Right now, I mean, not really. The, the athletes have to like they promote their stuff. No one like manager going on. Like you have to have a really good connection. They're mostly moved to Thailand, like the different other countries to do their uh, thing, yeah. That was going to be my last, dream. That was going to be my next question. I know out there wrestling's big, soccer and basketball, but how big, if at all, do they, do they show kickboxer MMA on TV at all out there? Or? I mean, no, not at all. Not at Any all. Like, the MMA, no, not, not at all. Like, we have, yeah, wrestling is a big deal. Soccer is a huge deal. And I, I mean, wrestling is like we, we win each year. And then the soccer, we don't have, I mean, it's still like a little, like that right now they're starting to take care of this wrestling, you know? But soccer, we even don't have nothing to say, right? <laughs> you know, yeah, it's okay. We, uh, we joined the World Cup or whatever, you know, like, but it's still like our, our wrestling thing way better than, you know, like our oh, yeah. soccer. Volleyball right now, 
there are um, many times, you know, like the world champion, like, you know, like so many, you know, trophy they got. But yeah, still, uh, but combat sport, not at all. Like maybe like some, I don't know, maybe like some style of karate or something they show it sometimes, you know, like in the uh, TV or like judo or some stuff, but not like MMA or like kickboxing or yeah. this stuff, not at all. How, um, how long have you been in the United States for and how come you chose to move to Chicago? Actually, this um, it's been five years. Actually, today has been five years. It's oh, the 25th of March, yeah. Five How come you, cho you chose to come to Chicago? I mean, um, I talked, I mean, when I apply for everything, like I, uh, when I get my visa and all this stuff done, um, my lawyer told me, it's like, you should go to Chicago. I mean, he was from Chicago. He told me, you know, Chicago is a good place to grow. You can, you know, find them. Um, um, you know, like find your life here yep. better than anywhere else. Like it's not too expensive, not too pricey. Like you can, you know, uh, figure things out. And then uh, that's how I came, ended up here. Yeah, I lived in uh, Lombard before in the Western suburbs, but I love Chicago. Is there a big Persian community out there? Because I know like California and, and out here in Scottsdale, there's a lot. And I have a couple of friends yeah. out here that are from Chicago, but there's there are many out there that you know of. Yeah, I mean, Chicago, there, I mean, I believe Everything. they are, they, they do, but I mean, I don't know, not, I mean, I don't have nobody, like, uh, I mean, a couple of friends, maybe I know, but um, not really, yeah, but I know, like, I have a lot of family living in LA. I met you at the Bare Knuckle Boxing Tryouts, what happened with that, did they want to sign you to fight? They, we tried, you know, we tried, but uh, I was already signed with Lions. That's why I was like, stay, all right, let's see after the Lion fights. Uh, let's see what's, uh, what's, ha what's happening. Yeah, we, we talked about it, you know, like they want to put me in a card for, you know, like um, for last card, I think. Um, but I was already signing for um, bare knuckle boxing. That's why. For, right now, I'm like focusing on the Lions to, to see what's happening lately. Do you have a single fight deal or is it like multiple fight deal? Right now is a single fight, but they, they talk about it. They're going to like do the multi, multi, yeah, multi fights. And what's your weight future. class? Yeah. We'll get it. My weight class, uh, this, this time I'm a little bit lower. I'm usually uh, fighting uh, middleweight, 185. Uh, but the, this time I'm fighting at the 180. Um, yeah. Where are you training right now, and how is the um, how's the lockdown affecting your training, if at all? I'm gonna come to yeah, first. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm training at the um, Chicago MMA, uh, Chicago Mixed Martial Arts, uh, by Brian Gastaway. Though my coach is Brian Gastaway, Misho, Misho. Um, I guess I'm working with these people and yeah, let's, it was pretty hard uh, to be started again, to bring people back in uh, to like uh, get my, uh, what do you call it? Get my, um, like a sparring partners, like, you know, like it was very challenging, but now we've done it, you know, and I, I feel great. I'm sharp and I can't wait for my, I mean, I've been ready, like, yeah. I trained all like the, the time, even I was like down, we didn't go anywhere, you know, but I still, I was had a hope chasing, you know, didn't give up all my dreams, you know, like I was keep, keep uh, grinding, you know, till right now I get it, things I want. When was your last fight and you think that time off from actually competing in a real fight will affect you? Any ring rust? Um, last fight, it was July. 2019. Mm. My last fight was July 2019. Um, in fact, I don't think so, you know, because I cannot say till not I'm getting to that position, like yep. getting to walk out with CEO, what's up. But I, I don't think so. I'm very confident and I can't wait. It's like a normal day in the office. Do you, uh, would there be fans there or do you think that would affect you if there's no fans or if there's fans? 
Oh, since 2014, I get out of my country. I all my fight. I was I was fighting in their house. You know, I fighting in my opponent. Right now, no, it's something is very like uh, something is really like in Turkey. When I moved to Turkey, that was my one of the huge fights. Like, I mean, I don't know, was pro, wasn't pro, was amateur. I counted yeah. as an amateur fight, you know, but. Yes, like it was like on a, the first fight I get in the TV. Yes, it was it was in my house, it wasn't my home. It was a different country. I never fight in my home, you know. Like without, I mean, like I did it was as an amateur, but like not like yeah, the people come to watch me or anything like that. This right now is something normal for me. Yeah, you have uh, family and friends back in Iran who uh, follow your career. Yes, my uh, my family is still there. My moms, my dad, my brother, uh, they're all there. Yeah, my brother. Yeah, they're all in, back home in Iran. What, what city out there are you from? Tehran. Okay. Oh, oh you're from the capital. Yes, I'm from capital. Yeah. Do you have any um, any sponsors right now, or do you uh... sponsors? That, yeah, no, not really. I mean, we get some. Um, yeah, we said get we see we get some contact like they were I was supposed to like uh, do something you know but n never hear back from them you know like couple of friends yes like dynamic kickboxing you know like they you know like they helped me out with some things but you know, not really like why should a company uh, sponsor you if they're listening to this right now what's that. Why should a company sponsor you? Like, um, if they're if they're if they're sitting right now or watching later on? I mean, yeah. I mean, why? I mean, I'm. What can I say? I'm good. You know, they <laughs> should put the money on me. You know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I, I wish you the best luck coming up, and uh, keep in touch. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks, thank bro. You. Have a great day. All right. You too. Peace. Bye. Yeah. Okay.